All right, welcome back. Well, it's been a while. Uh, I had to take a little break there to kind of reassess uh, the next series of videos. And I uh, had to kind of get back into the rhythm of this. And uh, this is what I was drawing last time um, with the stick figure series. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shorts. Um, if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check out my shorts section on my channel. I've been drawing a lot of stick figures, and that's helped uh, with the practice a bit more. Um, so this is the before figure. I'm going to do the after um, figure. Uh, but before I go there, let me show you the chapter I'm kind of referring to. And how my, where my figure kind of fits in there. Um, it is, if you have this awesome book, How to Draw Comics the Marble Way, highly recommend you pick it up. This is chapter six, um, where, they, where we separate the men from the boys. <laughs> the name of the game is action. So this is great because it gives you a before and after. And everything in between uh, is kind of what you don't really want in an action scene in a comic, uh, at least according to Marvel. Um, I'd say my figure is probably around between not bad and best. So probably about right here. As you can see, let me compare it. He's leaned over. His fist is cocked. Um, down here instead of up there. Uh, but his leg is out about, about like right there. So it's kind of close. It's probably in between. So that's, that's a good, that's a good area. Um, so what I want to do is avoid these where he's halfway through his motion and get to, get to this one right here. It's like it's like he's hunched over and he put everything he had into that punch. Um, I'll read a little bit of this. That uh, makes sense here. Uh, it says here, just being able to draw the figure is only half the job. Uh, when you are drawing comic book superhero sagas, you've got to be able to move, move to animate it to put it in action, move it to animate it. Using what you've learned in a stick figure drawing, take a character running, walking, playing ball, or throwing a punch, draw a series of stick figures, which I've been doing in a lot of my shorts, uh, as one, as on the facing page, depicting as many different stages of that action as possible. Familiarize yourself with moving the body work from one from one figure to another, slowly, loosely, uh, casually, using as many scribble lines as you wish. Don't try to do a finished drawing. Just loosen up. That's the key words. Loosen up. Keep it loose. Try to feel the action. Notice how the first drawing and the last one, in the particular sequence, uh, seem to have the most impact, the most action. In a Marvel story, uh, the artist would either use either of those shots rather than the, sa the tamer ones in between. Remember, in these sketches, all you need is three or four lines to establish the action. See the two sketches on the bottom of the page? Uh, notice how Johnny cut all the action uh, he wanted in just, a f in just the fewest lines and see how skillfully he was able to build on it. You'll be doing this too once you've had enough practice. Now take a look take a look at the next page here. Um, they talk about the center line and how that is like the main composition that everything builds from for that motion, that exaggerated motion. This is like an S, almost like an S, but it's more like a backward C right there. 
Um, and again, it's the cross. It's a cross, like here's a cross right here, going like that. All right, there's a curve and then there's another crossing line. It's like a backward C. But uh, imagine how good you would be if you practiced just these stick figures every day. Um, and set a certain amount of time, maybe like uh, 30 minutes, you know, and, and think of how good you would be just doing this. See all these different different postures that you see all the time in comics. There's upside down flight. Maybe he's up, Spider-Man's on, on the ceiling there. Um, this is another good one. I could see Superman right there flying so get good at this get a lot of practice just doing the stick figures you don't you don't even have to you don't really even have to do the I love this one I love that posture I do that kind of stuff all the time there's a upside down U there's the cross that I always draw there's that center line cuts through everything um, doesn't have to be a full realized figure could just be something as simple as that. That's I draw a lot of. Uh, that's like a rage posture where he's kind of hunched over and he's walking, and it shows a lot of power through the arms and the chest. Um. Yeah. So let me get to it. Enough of the yapping. Let me get to the, the drawing here. So that was a little bit of uh, explain. I'll try to keep this. The same, the same length. So I'll kind of do that because it's easy to go off the page. So I kind of I'll do this and do that as kind of like guides, so I don't go too far off. Because it's easy to go get the legs cut off because you drew too big. So you don't want to make them too small either. So let's there we go. So. There, so he, I'm trying to remember he was right there, and boom. So I can even use my good old fashioned wood dummy, and this always tells you what sections of the body are longer than the other ones. It's great for proportions. So he was right, he had his shield up right here, his fist was chambered. Although the lakes don't split apart that much. So it's about something like that. Alright. So when he goes to punch. He's going to bring it over. And his other leg. Because I can't get up and move around right now. And That's another good thing to do. Is get up actually. Um, position yourself. In the motion. Yourself. And just memorize your how your where your body posture is when you throw a punch and you know do it someplace private so you don't look like a crazy person. But yeah, so this leg's gonna be back because he's putting his the powers in the hip and he's bringing that punch down like there. I know it's kind of hard to see because I'm not zoomed out that much, but that helps. So let's see here. Again, that center line. Center line, it's going to be, since he's going to be kind of hunched over, it's going to be slightly curved. Keeping it really loose. And here's his leg. And, hit, and remember his punch. I'm feeling it out here. So his arm is like that, and his leg is back here. And see, I already kind of went too far. That's all right. There's no kind. Let's see here. All right. So. 
Oh.